Hey, what up guys? Welcome back to my channel. And today I want to talk to you about fear, uncertainty and doubt, which is a very common word, which is a very common term on our um, forums, on the cryptocurrency forums, on cryptocurrency videos in the comment sections. I'm sure you've seen it. Uh, and in this video, I want to talk about why I think it's uh, kind of problematic nowadays and uh, why I think it's being misused. Before we start, I want to thank everyone who has ever donated to the channel. It means a lot to to see the support, to see the appreciation. And so thank you very much, everyone. It really, really means a lot to this channel. And if you would like to contribute yourself, you find the addresses in the comment section or in the description. So why is FAD problematic? I didn't think it was problematic until I did that video on GitHub where I basically talked about how I use GitHub in order to build a picture of a programming project. It can be a cryptocurrency project, but it really can be used to just assess any kind of programming project that has its code on GitHub. And I showed how I look at the contrib uh, commits, uh, how I look at the contributors, how I look at um, the actual code changes that are being done in the commits. Uh, and so in the end of that video, I showed the Chaincoin repository as uh, an example of a repository that didn't have many commits, didn't have many contributors, and the co contributions that were made were very uh, simplistic and not really code changes. It was more of a rebranding uh, thing going on where people changed the different strings in the code from, for example, Bitcoin to Chaincoin. Uh, and so I came to the conclusion that this coin doesn't have, doesn't have a very active development community. And a very significant minority I would say, under the video, started uh, shouting that this is FUD, why are you spreading FUD, the chain coin is awesome, this is only FUD. And I thought that these coins were almost uh, funny in some uh, cases, uh, because it they didn't have a lot to do with the video itself, It didn't have they didn't have a lot to do with GitHub or the developers. They mainly shouted that this is FUD and, uh, uh, and it was a very emotional kind of uh, uh, message these people were trying to uh, communicate uh, based on emotions. And I really understand uh, the psychology behind this or I think I, I know how it works because if you invest your hard earned money into a coin you, of course, don't want anyone to say anything bad about that coin. And uh, you can, of course, use FUD as a way of censorship, uh, as a way of uh, making people who say negative things about your coin, uh, making negative arguments and uh, trying to explain to you why this coin is not a, a as good investment as you thought. Of course, you can use FAD as, uh, as a way to, to tell those people to not continue uh, talking about this coin in those negative terms. Uh, and uh, this is exactly what happened to me under that video. And I thought it was very interesting. And I think it is very counterproductive to our common goal as a cryptocurrency community, because we want our community, our technology to be mainstream. We want everyone to be a part of our community. We want people to appreciate, understand and use cryptocurrencies. And if we are not being negative, about projects if we are not mentioning anything negative about cryptocurrency projects. I think we are uh, working against ourselves. We are not uh, 
evolving fast as as fast as we could if we talked both about the negatives and the positives but because trading and because the fear of missing out and because getting rich quick is such a big part of cryptocurrencies uh, this FUD censorship, I think, is a natural part of our community because there are many people who invest fortunes in some kind of coin that uh, they don't really understand themselves, really, and they have heard good things about that coin, and so they invest a lot of money. And when they see anyone who talks, uh, uh, who mentions anything negative about, about that coin, they start screaming FUD. Uh, and I just want to bring this up because I think it's very important for us to recognize this situation and uh, mention that this is how things work, that many, many people uh, scream FUD not because they rationally have looked at your argument, not because they have reviewed what you have to say, but they only say so because they are afraid that their investment might disappear, might go down and they might lose money. And it is of course very understandable. I would do the same thing if uh, I was in that position. Because if you, of course, if you have your investment and you see someone making a, a good argument against your uh, investment, the natural instinct would be to make that person stop doing this. and. Uh, uh, and so I do understand why people are writing all of these FUD messages and screaming that this is only FUD. But I think we should um, make it very clear that this is a phenomenon that is going on and um, that you shouldn't really fall for it because it, it, can, it can be as a type of censorship, which we of course do not uh, appreciate or need really in our community so these are just some thoughts do you agree with my conclusions do you think that fad is being used in a good way because it can be used in a good way i mean if you see someone who is just spreading lies who intentionally and systematically wants to discredit some kind of project and and in that in that case, I think you could use FUD as uh, a way to tell that person that uh, you are not being fair, you're not being objective. But yeah, in my view, we are all overusing it. We're using it way too often, and the the FUD word, the word of FUD, loses its meaning. It loses its weight because it's being so overused. I mean, whenever I see FUD nowadays, I don't give it much weight because it is so diluted and because it's being shouted almost every day. So these are just some thoughts, guys. What do you think? Leave your comments in the comment section below. And if you are a new viewer and you like blockchain, Bitcoin, Ethereum, technology, programming, you should definitely subscribe to this channel, guys, because you will find it interesting. I myself am a software developer and I'll see you guys next time.